Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. Another episode of the Okie Homies. My name is Rudy, and I am the guy you see doing all the work. <clears throat> Today we're going to be doing some electrical, and uh, not exactly an expert, so uh, this is all just for fun. Don't follow anything that I say or do anything that I do, but hopefully enjoy the video. So, with that disclaimer out of the way, uh, get the sub panel or the electrical panel set up. Um, it's going to be outside, just works a little bit easier, a lot more room outside than inside on this. Uh, this is on the other side. This outside wall is the outside wall of the bathroom. So, I didn't want anything kind of ugly or uh, kind of out of place or hidden behind a mirror or anything on the inside so outside works a little better um, I'll link to the box and all that stuff and Real good product from Siemens real well built, but uh, got to drill the hole through Put this in I could have come up through the bottom or through the top, but it just wasn't gonna work out that way So it came from the side just as easy Remember caulk everything people caulk is cheap might as well but pretty easy install as far as that goes and then it gets into pulling some wires I went and already set all the boxes I would say in my very unprofessional opinion super rank amateur opinion set all of the boxes and just kind of take a look like you can make a map on paper that's fine I need to see it visually so worked out a little easier I'm um, going to run the pigtail for the AC system first. Since it's a dedicated line, I wanted to make sure to get it run. And this is a look at that outside box. So we're going to go set another box outside. Again, pretty easy. You can see that uh, drilling the hole through for the actual wire, but you can see that self tapper just above. Drill that in. You can set the box and trace out your hole. Just like that set the box down and uh, you'll put a there's another there's all kinds of places to attach this actually just make sure you allocate where you can attach it to one of the flat corrugations and not one of the ones that's recessed in always something to think about with these containers it's kind of trial by fire live and learn so like I said the AC unit is its own wire it's its own home run so nothing else is going to be on this and this is just for that outside unit with a split AC, you're going to have an inside unit, but it doesn't pull a whole lot of power, so it can just be on one of the electrical outlets. But ran that wire, fished it through, and you can see there in kind of the top part of the middle of the screen, that is the ground bar for this. Um, I don't have any video on this one of me wiring this in because this is all just pre-wired. So. And with our unlimited graphics budget, this is what you're looking at. So you're going to run from the electrical panel to the pigtail. And then the outside unit is going to run into that pigtail as well. So you'll have a shutoff in there. That's what that little piece is. And then, of course, the outside unit will run into the inside unit. And you'll plug that in. But the outside unit and the electrical panel are broken up by that pigtail, which you can turn on and off. You have a little piece you can pull out and flip upside down to turn it off to work on the outside unit. Or whatever you need to do so that's your basic structure of what you're looking at so once I got that run now you've got to draw all of these holes or drill all of these holes so the panel is down around like my waist and this is just gonna run everything up through the framing on the rafters just a whole lot easier especially since you have a gap between the rafters I put in and the actual roof structure Drilling through these uh, studs is not exactly fun. Um, I've tried these spider products throughout this project. I am not a fan of the spider product, products of hole saws and drill bits and things of that nature. They're cheap for a reason, apparently. Um, I ended up switching to a spade bit, just an Irwin uh, wood spade bit, and it worked a whole lot easier. The only downside is if you hit a nail, which I did hit one nail, it's done it's over but luckily I had like two or three sets of those Irwin bits but um, just running wire uh, I finally learned after doing this one and another one that it's easier to start from the box and run to 
So start from the electrical panel and run to your boxes instead of the opposite way, which is what I did here and is uh, not fun, to say the least. But again, this has been a learning project, a learning curve on kind of the subtleties. You may be like me and have a pretty good idea and understanding of how the big parts work, but when it comes to all the little things, that's the stuff you really, really learn. And here again, drilling the holes, um, I start from the wrong spot. Again, you can see back there behind me the one wire that's run into the electrical panel, kind of mid-screen there. It's just so much easier to run it that way and then to loosely lay out where you want your wire to go through the walls before actually putting it through the walls and then run it you know, and leave yourself a, kind of a generous amount to come out of the box or whatever, and then cut it off and run it that way. What I'm running now is completely, it's still completely attached to the overall spool, 250 feet of Romex. Not fun. Just end up battling it, it's hot. But anyway, it is what it is. Running 12-2 throughout, except one spot where I ran a 12-3 where I'm gonna have a three-way switch. But otherwise, everything's 12-2. Yes, I know on lights, can lights, especially that they're going to be LEDs, that I could run a 14-2. But then I would have ran like, you know, 20 feet of 14-2. Would have had to buy that. It was just easier just to buy the 250-foot roll of the Romex 12-2 and just run it. <clears throat> so, yeah, my lights are going to have uh, enough power if they need it. But these are gonna be on the three-way switch. So I decided to, this is the bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen. I initially thought on putting all of them on separate switches. I just put it all on one switch. And then this is what you end up with when you run all of that wire. You run it all into the box, it all fits. You'll notice they're all labeled. That way you know what it is. Again, like the fridge has to be on its own unit, on its own line, its own home run. Label it all. Um, and then get to stripping wires. Uh, it's, uh, it's not hard. It's not a pain. It's just kind of a slightly time consuming. But you can see my ground bar there, which is grounded to the box. On the left hand side, you run your ground or your bare wire into the ground bar and then your white wire goes into the neutral bar which is on the right and then the black wire is always going to go or not always but at least for me i'm not running any 240 power it's all just 120 so the black wires all go into the breakers i'll link again to uh about a little wire stripper that worked really really well it's got some other features built into it like uh oh another stripping feature of individual wires but i just used to strip off the romex and got another set of wire strippers handheld that work really really easy really easy to use um, don't be stingy with the wires in here i mean you want it to look clean make sure you label it as you go i was writing it on the box and you can see there to the right hand side with a sharpie but don't be stingy with the wires leave a little too much you want it clean and you don't want wires looped around everywhere, but if you have to move something, change something, um, you're kind of screwed if you don't have the wire in there to do that. So what I was doing is kind of running it up alongside of the box and then into it. You can see it comes out looking pretty clean, but also I've got plenty of wire if I need to kind of move something around. Same with the grounds, run them down and then run them up. And then if you need to move them around, you can. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need to move anything around, but hey, you never know. Um, again, it's always easy just to, always nice to have that. So I'm doing the combination of the breakers, arc fault, ground fault, interrupters on the bathroom and the kitchen stuff. Um, it's really easy to do. It's just like the other ones, except you have the little white pigtail. You can see the breaker there on, that I just grabbed. It's got another um, neutral wire that you have to hook in. You don't have to hook it in to the other neutral that you have hooked in, like two wires in one hole. You can just hook it up on its own circuit. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't really know if you can put them in the same hole. Again, not an electrician, rank amateur. Do not listen to me on wiring up things. Um, but 
again, not hard. Pretty easy to work in. And now that I'm an electrician, I don't clean up nothing. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.